talk about some do's and don'ts of a weapon mounted light and laser. So today we have the Taurus Curve new gun and it has a weapon mounted light and laser. In fact, it's built into the gun, which is good because this gun doesn't have any sights on it. So you really need the laser to help aim the gun. Well, to start out, to quote a friend of ours, Rob Latham, a gun is always a gun. And what does that mean? Well, a lot of times when you have a weapon mounted light and laser, people want to think that it's just a laser pointer or it's just a flashlight. Well, it's still on a gun and it's still pointed somewhere. So if you look here, a lot of times people will say, oh, I want to show you this cool thing. It's got a light mounted on it. It has a laser on it. So let me put away the gun and let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's pretend this is mounted on a gun. Hey, look, look at how the laser really lights up. Look how the flashlight, we're pointing this at our hand, a gun at our hand, right? That's maybe a bad idea. So first one, don't point the light and laser at yourself. Second, along those same lines, you don't want to point the gun at your loved ones or, you know, wave it around the room. Now, I know people like to use a laser and wave it around and have the cat or the dog chase it around the room, for instance. Well, that's funny if it's a laser pointer, maybe, but if it's a mountain on a gun, you're waving a gun around the room. So let's not do that. Now, weapon mounted light can be good for finding your way inside your home or inside a building, something like that. So if you're walking down the hallway, you can see what's on the floor, make sure you're not gonna trip over anything. You can also use the light and do use the light to identify who is, who is there. Is it a good guy or a bad guy? And actually pointing the light at the bad guy's feet, I don't know if you can see it because it's not totally dark in here, but it's gonna light up the person and you'll probably be able to tell if this is big, bad, scary guy or if this is your little kid. But of course, right from right here, you can go up and you can light up the, the bad guy, the target, and okay, wow, it's a threat. And put rounds on target. Now something we don't want to do. Lasers are a great tool for guns. It's another option for you, but we don't want to use a laser to scare someone. Now there have been a lot of cases of um, a laser actually being a, a device where it, you know, you point the gun at the bad guy and he gives up. And that's great if that happens, but I wouldn't depend on that. Do use a laser as an aiming device. This is the curve and it doesn't have sights on top. It doesn't have traditional sights. Your sighting system is the laser. So, the laser is very simple to use. I mean, I'm just looking over the top of the gun, looking at the laser and squeezing the trigger. And the shots are gonna go where the laser is. Pretty simple, point and shoot. So those are just a few considerations when using a weapon mounted light and laser like you have on this Taurus Curve.